so everybody got plastered, including yours truly. So uh, that's why I don't remember much of the movie because they were well, it, the movie was playing, but everybody was just like passed out. Cause, right. But uh, yeah, I remember that. It wasn't too bad, and I'll probably rewatch it and watch some. Yeah, other. you need to rewatch it sober because that, that's a or high. It's a really good movie either which way. Holy shit. All right, so now, okay, so Tusk, it, definitely one of those. It was a good movie. I liked it. I don't give a fuck what anybody else says, but uh, it is one of those movies that after you're done watching it, you're like, what the fuck? What in the fuck? Yeah, pretty much. I like a lot right. of those movies. Yeah, let's see. Well, well, we got three to talk about tonight, tonight right? Right. Let's see. Uh, the next one that we'll talk about it because I... I've watched two out of the three we, we talked about. Old Boy, which is a remake, Old Boy. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's a remake. It's a remake. Now, for I'm reading here on the internet, Old Boy, that's another movie that uh, fucking flopped on the box office. Yeah, yeah, it flopped. I mean, which is like uh, major. completely insane when you think about Thanos is in it and Samuel L. Jackson is in it. Samuel Jackson, Josh Brolin. And Thanos. Like, what the f- Fuck, but yeah, pretty much. Sometimes shit like that happens. I mean, I know because they they had a budget like a thirty million dollars, and I don't and, even think uh, they used half of it. But that mm-hmm. movie, I don't think they used most of that. Well, supposedly they had a budget of thirty million dollars, and they didn't even. I don't know. It's wow. Let me see here. According to IMDb, shit. Oh, I am the boss. I am the boss. Is that what that stands for? Yeah. Holy shit. Let's see. Yeah. Estimated $30 million budget opening week. It only made not even a million dollars. <laughs> and appar- apparently grossed the entire thing. It only made like $2 million. Ouch. Yeah. So that one, like, which, and like I would said, have to rank that with up there with. Okay, you know there's the movies where you you only you know you're only going to watch one time. Yeah. <clears throat> I rank Old Boy. I've seen it several times. Okay. But originally I thought it was going to go into that list, but it was so good. Like at the beginning, I'm like, oh, this is going to be a one time watch movie. But it was so good. I've seen it. Seven or eight times. I've watched it Fucking twice. Stupid I've watched good. it twice, and both of the times it left me with that "what the fuck" feeling. You know, wow. that's just. I mean, now it's funny, but uh, the, he was kind of an ass. The character, not you know, was kind of an what? asshole too, when you think about it. But in this one, I guess he caught that girl bumping uglies with. Her dad, and then apparently opened his mouth, and the girl killed herself. Right? Yeah. Or, the, it, or no? Or the, no? The dad walked in and shot her, and then shot. My God, I. Yeah, so I'm I'm, getting my. Hmm? <clears throat> I'm getting my movies all. Yeah, he walked in. Right he walked in and seen some nasty shit with his with his dad, going on and. Yeah. It was all because his dad was doing some nasty shit to him, and thought that there was something more going on. It was a, it was a really fucked up, fucked it up, was a fucked pretty up, fucked up film. I mean, when it's all said and done. But the way they filmed it, the way it ends is brilliant. Brilliantly fucking fucked up. I mean, brilliant. I was following it along, and then when you come to that point where. I mean, we're gonna okay. we're gonna spoil it here. It's an old movie. No, don't 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 throw that out there. I want people oh. to see this motherfucker. Uh, I on, want motherfuckers it. to see it. God Fine. damn it! Fucking all right, that'll work. I can I, I can I can live with that. I guess you know because, but dang, it's just one of those movies that when it's done, you're like, damn. Like, you what? feel a slug to your chest when you see this movie. Like, they, like oh, yeah, oh, pretty much. Fuck. Oh. Yeah. Of all things, that that's not what I I was not expecting that 
And oh, God like I said, damn it. Damn it. Damn pretty it. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that's another good movie that, like I said, didn't do well. But it, I like it. I mean, you know, it's I, I don't know. It's the reasons why. I don't know what the fuck in Hollywood decides. I'm mean, well, obviously people they go watch the movie, right? They pay money, but right, but fuck. I mean, it's like I don't understand why it did as poorly as it did. I oh think my. it just didn't. Listen, there was a couple of movies that were really, really good that just came out at the wrong time. That could very well be it. You know, movies I mean, look at the movie. On look, be- Look at the movie Equilibrium. It's got a cult following. Equilibrium. But it yeah. came out right the same weekend. It came out the same weekend Matrix came out. Okay. So definitely, yeah. It was okay. doomed. Yep. Doomed. Equilibrium. I, I, I remember that movie. Uh, me and this other mofo watched it in for like a week and a half, it, just referring to each other as cleric. Yeah, it's, it's very Fahrenheit 451-ish. Hmm. You know, where, like, you know, emotions are banned, books yep. are banned, movies are banned, art is banned, music, you know what I mean, all of it. Yeah, I know, and his son, I like the way his son played it all the way to the end. Right. I was expecting the little shit to be, to turn him in. But. I, you know, because, you know, the way he looked at him, like, and apparently the kid, well, it, could could you imagine if society ever got to that point where. You know, by law, you got to take certain meds that will eradicate all emotion. Yeah, eradicate emotions to you know. Holy! I only got two emotions as is. The whole righty then. I'm horny and I'm fucking angry. (laughs) That's all I got. Okay. Okay, I think I still got a few more than that, but (laughs) not too far away from. Yeah, you know, but anyway, I'm a... Like, I don't have any despair. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, it's it's crazy. Okay, but yeah, so... Uh, old Boy, great, great movie. Go see it. Ran it I, I don't know, oh, is it on Netflix? I think in Netflix, or you'd have to go to, like, Amazon on, it, on demand, you know? Right. Yeah. Watch it, though. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Do not watch it around children. Yeah. God damn it, I'm going to say that again. Do not watch it around children. Yep. That is just, uh, like I said, it's a good movie, but it'll fuck with Not you meant for little it'll, ones. It'll mind fuck you. Mind <laughs> fuck you. Yep. You'll so, be sitting uh, at work, and you, like two days later, you'll be sitting at work just typing away. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, I can't believe they fuck. I what fuck, the I can't. fuck? What the, yeah, exactly. It all, it's just one of those, I don't know, crazy movies. Wonderful yeah. movies. All right, Wonderful. now the third one, Afterlife with uh, Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson, yep. And yep. isn't it Christina Ricci? Yes. Yes. So like I said, uh, I haven't watched this one yet, so. Okay, so Afterlife is a very, um, I, can, I can talk about this one. Mm-hmm. Christina Ricci wakes up in a morgue, like, but not a not a morgue like a like a funeral. You know, like what I'm talking about, where you go when the fu- the funeral home picks you up from the city morgue and takes you to the funeral home, yeah. and they do all that process. Yeah, and they dress you and all that. Yeah, she wakes up in there. Okay, and Liam Neeson is the the um, mortician. No. mortician. Yeah. Hmm. And she's like freaks out. She's like, "Where am I? Where am I?" And he's like, "Sweetie, I hate to, I hate to tell you this, but you've died." Okay. And this is this is where we get you ready to go to the other side. Oh, I see. And, so she, and it, it, she wasn't aware that she was dead. Well, she just woke up there and. Yeah. Okay. So no, I, like I said, I I read the synopsis and I saw the trailer and I'm like. Shit, I, I want to watch this movie. Yeah, so. it, it will it will leave you looking at certain characters and certain actors and actresses in a different way. 
Okay. You know, it, it, I, I ain't even gonna lie. This movie gave me fucking nightmares. I see. Like well, it, 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 it fucked with my head so bad, and they did it so well. Like it fucked with my head. I, mm. I'm telling you, it, it. You just went robotized right there. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I back? Yeah, you're back. Okay. No, it, it gave me nightmares. Oh, I see. It, it fucked with my head for days. Mm. I'm a grown-ass man getting fucking nightmares. <laughs> it happens, man. Fuck. Yeah. Movie fucked with my head bad. Go see it. <laughs> <laughs> what Pretty a glowing much. recommendation. Holy shit. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, uh, that's one of the movies that I want to watch because I saw, like I said, I saw the trailer. And uh, we're, we're going to put up the, tr you know, on the links and video page that we got, we're going to put the movie trailers just so that you know which movies we're talking about. And Right. Yeah. Because you guys need to go see these. If you have not seen them. Yeah, and so. most of them, most people have it because they're not they're not big Hollywood movies. You know what I mean? Like they're the they're the you work nights, you have a night off. It's four o'clock in the morning. Everybody in your house has been asleep for hours, and you're yeah. fucking bored out of your skull. That's how you come across these types of movies. <laughs> well, you know, when people work in the line of work we do, sometimes they can sneak them into work. Sometimes. Yeah, I didn't and see these that way. Me neither. Like I said, I've watched this once on Netflix here at home. Yeah, and, I think uh, I was drunk when I watched the first one. Old boy, I actually I got it from the Red Box when it first came out. It right. was one of those. Say it had just been released to the Red Red Box, and I figured it's Josh Brolin. How bad can it be? Yeah, Samuel <laughs> L. Jackson, Josh Brolin. How the fuck can you go wrong with that combination? <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> well, you know. They certainly didn't go wrong with it, but it is certainly not what you expect. No, not definitely not. It's, yeah. <laughs> certainly not what you expect. No. And th this last one, like I said, well, I definitely, I got to watch it. And maybe we'll t talk briefly on another episode after I watch it. Cause, but, yeah. So okay, those are three movies that uh, on our list that those are will, those are cursory overload approved movies. Mind fucks, right? Mind mind fuck movies. Uh, you know, we'd like to hear from you. Uh, you know, and maybe give us some suggestions, some other movies that you might have watched that uh, you know will totally leave you all fucked up at the end. So uh, if you want to share that with us, cursory dot overload at gmail dot com. Yeah, I'm not big into horror movies, so so don't give us horror movies, but like give us mindfuck movies. Mindfuck movies, yeah, that's what I liked about this. I mean, well, Tusk is supposed to be a comedy horror movie, right? And I liked it. Yeah, that's I, I can deal with that. I'm not big into horror movies either. It's not, it's just not my thing. Not but my I mean, kind of like that. Oh, righty then. So uh, okay, <clears throat> going on to other subjects. I experienced something this weekend that I've never experienced before in my life, and it has changed my viewpoint on the fucking world. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. We went up north to the uh, Sedona area. Okay. And uh, just for a, you know, just for a day hike. And mm -hmm. uh, I had somewhere along the line, I had I had a subscription to BattleBox, a uh, survival tactical prepping kind of a subscription service mm -hmm. and one of the things they had sent me was a a, a hammock you know a, a lightweight parachute nylon kind of material hammock mm -hmm. and uh <clears throat> so i said you know what for months i've been wanting to try this thing out fuck it why not let's i'll, I'll just take it up there so i took it up there strung it up right. laid in it holy fuck holy hey. balls to the wall i have never been that comfortable in my life <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, holy okay. fuck. Holy fuck. Out of five fucks, I give it 11. Okay. It's easy to set up. The one I have is, is, is not a very expensive one. You can go on Amazon and, and find a double person one that'll wait, even a fat mm -hmm. buddy like me. At, at